Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for subscribing. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button below along with the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I upload new videos and I upload videos every week. Today on Creative Glam, I'm going to make a centerpiece, a succulent centerpiece. But I wanted my succulents to have pops of color to denote the fact that we are still in spring even though it doesn't feel like it. And I wanna add pops of color by adding wildflowers. So, if you're interested in seeing a succulent centerpiece with pops of color using wildflowers, stay tuned. Let's get started. The items that you'll need to complete this project is really kind of up to you. My items came from a little bit of everywhere. These succulents here in the front came from Target, the Target Dollar Spot. Um, these succulents here came from Michael's. The orange ones and the ones that looks like little balls came from Michael's. The ones in the little uh, ceramic type plastic tubs, those came from the Dollar Tree. My candle came from the Dollar Tree. Uh, my votives are something that I already had. These votives here, everybody knows where these came from, the Dollar Tree. The styrofoam came from Michael's. Um, the wildflowers came from the Dollar Tree. And the rocks that I'm using in the, um, in my, in the rocks that I'm going to be using uh, to hold the succulents also came from Michael's. The container that I'm using, um, it came from Michael's as well. It was on sale. I think I got this container for like $1.99. It was normally like $5 and then they had marked it down to $2 and then it was 50% off plus I had a coupon. So I think I paid, I couldn't have been more than a couple bucks that I paid for this. So I'm going to take and fill it halfway full with um, styrofoam then I'm going to add my rocks my succulents and my flowers it's not going to be a big centerpiece it's going to be relatively narrow as you can tell but I wanted it to have pops of color as well as succulents so let's get started I'm going to move these things out of the way and begin the project okay I'm going to start with the wooden box that I got um, it's kind of rustic and that's not necessarily the theme that I'm going for not necessarily I'm using it mainly because of this shape I liked the shape of it I do however wish it was about a, a little wider a little wider than what it is but I'm gonna make it work so again as I said I'm going to take my styrofoam and I'm gonna cut it and place it in the bottom because I don't want to fill this whole thing with rock so Okay, and mark it so it's basically in half. I thought that if I kept the plastic on this that it might slice easier. <laughs> I don't know. Score it. How about that? How about if I score? I thought it would be mess le less messy this way. So far, so good. Now, looks like I might not be using the candle holders after all. I think I want to keep it more of a lower profile like that. I like that. I love decorating with the succulents. I love making centerpieces with succulents, but sometimes they can be a little drab in color. And in the spring, which is my favorite time of the year, I think it's all about color. So for me, it's important that if I'm going to if I'm going to decorate with them, I want I want just a pop of color. I had thought about leaving the, the center the the succulents in here while I added the rocks and the sand, but um. To me, it just makes it more difficult. Same thing here. Now I'm going to pull these off. 
Alright. for these these were these were 4.99 regularly but they were on sale for two dollars and fifty cents plus I had a coupon so that worked out really well Just enough to catch your eye. Take your eye. Let's see. Just enough to 
catch your eye with a peak, a peak of blue. I think that's it, guys. I did not end up using the candle holders or the candlesticks. I ended up changing it in mid, <laughs> in, in, in mid uh, transition. I, at midpoint, I ended up changing. Well, actually, I won't even say at midpoint. I This unfolded right before your eyes. Uh, I had envisioned using the candlestick holders to give me the height variation, but I felt because of the width of the actual container that these candle holders were just a little too tall for the width of this box. That's why I had brought these out because I thought that these being smaller and shorter that it may fit more into the, the structurally, that it may fit because it's a lower. I thought these might fit better because of the width of the box, but decided against those as well and decided against the candle as well. So I think I uh, that's done. I think that's very pretty. It turned out very nice. I wanted a succulent centerpiece, but I did not want it to be too, um, I wanted a succulent center centerpiece with pops of color and I'm, and I got that. I got exactly what I was looking for. Not exactly what I originally envisioned, but I got exactly what I was looking for. The succulent centerpiece with pops of color from the flowers. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It was super easy, super simple. I mean, I just put styrofoam in the bottom and added some rocks and then I just basically spread the color across the box in a way that's pleasing to the area that I'm going to set this in which is in my kitchen. I think it's beautiful. It turned out very nice. Okay, guys, that's it. I think it turned out absolutely beautiful. I hope you enjoyed my centerpiece, my succulent centerpiece with pops of color from Wildflowers. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I loved it. It was super simple. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button below along with that notification bell. This way you'll be notified when I upload new videos. And once again, I upload those videos every week. Again, thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.